Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of Figma Common Rider Strike from Common Rider Dragon Knight. Let's hope this guy's review goes better than Sting, cause that guy's just a dick. So, uh, let's get started with the packaging before I start going on a Common Rider Sting sucks rant. So, uh, this is Figma, Max Factory, make makeup company, owned this. I got an accent all of a sudden, said the Common Rider Strike right there. And then we got the logo right then there. That was weird, I'm sorry about that. So, um, the writing's all done in purple and the coloring because of Strike's color. On the side it says Figma Max Factory on the side. Uh, Figma at the top, picture of Strike looking all cool. Picture of Strike looking all epic, Asakura like on the side. And on the back cool poses of him looking all cocky with a sword. Huh, <laughs> cock. Uh, him doing a cool rider kick. Um, him, I think, this was this, no he's just doing a fighting pose. Him all like, oh my god, Asakura's so cool, why is Gokai Green trying to copy my hair? And then him sitting there cool with his staff. And then him like getting ready to get into his staff to get cards. Getting ready to get into his staff sounds dirty. And then there's the bottom. So, standard packaging. He doesn't come with a whole lot, but he definitely makes up for it in heart. Even though neither character really had a heart. Except for maybe the Ventaran version, which was just a brick. Um, so you got his staff here, which is for reading cards, which is really nicely detailed. As you can see, it's done in all purple, and it looks nice. And you can see where it's supposed to open up. Now, I guess that could be one minor nitpick, because, like, the... Which I'll compare later, I guess. The uh, So Chaku Henshin did lift up, which would be kind of neat if it lifted up for cards. And then he's got Sword Vent, which is cool. It's actually really looks really nice and gold, and it's pretty sharp. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, he got his, his hand holder, which has all of his hands. Uh, holding cards, holding things, and split open molester and action hands. And of course he has his cool baggie that stores all his stuff in it. And then you got his stand that he comes with, which I have him on. So he doesn't come with a whole lot, but he definitely makes up for it with how awesome he is. So let me just give the camera at a good angle. So this guy looks really great. Uh, I always loved uh, Oja's slash Strikes design, so that definitely helps. His paint looks really great. It's this dark purple, and I think that it's uh, really show accurate and it looks great. Face sculpt done really well. Um, no paint flaws, it looks fantastic. His chest armor also looks awesome. Um, the rest of him is pretty bland because it's just, you know, basically black with a few, like, boot and glove parts being colored. And he does have this seamless rubber here for articulation. A uh, nicely detailed advent belt here. Looks great. So all around, great details. Uh, articulation, nice 360 ball joint here. It's slightly hindered by these pieces here rubbing against his shoulder pad. Oh, which is actually done in this really nice rubbery material as well. Um, but so that's slightly hindered, but it's no big deal. Swiveling, you got the double joint here. Um, it's actually, actually, I'm sorry, I, I might have made that mistake in Sting, but it's actually a single joint that acts as sort of like a double joint. Swiveling at the wrist, uh, waist swiveling, articulation. It's got the rubber under here too, which makes it seamless. Nice 360 uh, head articulation, up and down neck movement, so we can do all like Kageyasakura poses. Um, Nice ball joint on his leg, once again seamless with this rubber here, so you can hardly tell he has joints. Uh, double knee joint here, uh, sort of swiveling, swiveling here, and there's no toe action, but he's very well articulated. Uh, he just looks awesome, like, alright, let me see what I have. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention that he's got this card here that he comes with, but I always, I never take him out because I almost lost Wing Knights, but I say that in every review. So let's get him holding his staff because that's what my Sochako Henshin is doing, and we're going to want to do a comparison. Um, get the right hand. I think this one will be good. Come on, get off the hand holder. There we go. Stick it in. As you can see, they're down in this joint here. And his are relatively tight. Tight like a tiger. Smoking a pancake? Cigar and a waffle? Pipe and a crepe? Bong and a blintz? Ah, so there's no praising you. I'm sorry with awesome powers references. I don't know. So I'm just going to pretend he's getting into it. But there's the staff. It looks really nice. Oh, he's just he's just really cool. Um, I just love this figure. Probably because I just love the character so much. Or not the character, but just the design. Oja was better. Um, Earth Strike was just kind of a douche. And Ventaran Strike was just a brick. But whatever. So there he is holding the staff. Uh, let me reach over here and grab my Sochako Henshin version. And here we have them together. As you can see, he's a great bit taller, and his color is more accurate, uh, obviously. You can see, and the details are a lot better. Um, 
like I said, the one cool thing about uh, Sochago Henshin Strike is that his this panel here lifts up so he's actually getting into it for cards and stuff. Um, not for cards, but I mean to read them. But, so that's kind of something that they missed out on, but that's a comparison, so definitely an upgrade there. For sure. I don't have any other figures to compare them to because I never got the, the, uh, what you would call it version. The American Dragonite version. But so, this figma review is relatively short yet again. Um, I guess I'll just get him in one more pose for a final thing to drag this out a little bit. Um, maybe with the, du like, dual wielding stuff so we can look all epic and stuff. It's gonna be, gonna be cool. It's gonna be a cool guy. So this guy is a definite improvement over Sting. That guy's just awful. Don't even talk to him, seriously. So I'm gonna have him, like, doing this and then wielding this to the side and being all epic, like a dual wielding badass. It probably makes more sense to have the staff over his head than the sword. Whatever. It's not the coolest pose, but it does good things for me. So there he is. So, Sting was awful. As you can see from my review, I flicked him over. This guy is awesome. I don't think he's my favorite Figma, just because I like certain other ones more. But he's definitely an awesome Figma. If you like Oja or uh, Strike at all, I definitely recommend this figure. I think he looks really fantastic. He looks really great on the shelf, and the seamlessness of the Figmas really fit well with this guy. And it makes him just a really awesome looking figure. I mean, he doesn't come with quite as much as some others, but he definitely makes up for it with uh, his awesomeness, and he kind of just comes with all he needs to. So he gets the Dawson Rider seal of approval. I think he's a pretty good figure. Definitely pick him up over Strike, and if you picked up Strike because you already prototyped it like me, have your, I mean, Sting, uh, then have your Strike beat Sting up for being such a douche, seriously. So yeah, this one gets the Dawson Rider seal of approval. It's a very, very cool figure. Definitely a good upgrade for the Sochaku Henshin. But we all know the figure arts are coming, so we'll have to see. But this is the best we have for right now. So anyway, that is about it. Until next time, check out the Epic site at writersrangersandrambles.com and also check out the Epic Podcast while you're there. Until next time, it is your friendly neighborhood Dawson. Signing out.